Hi, this is Carson from Lay Seats, and I'm here to show you how to install a baseball stitch for sew up bar wraps and grips. There's a number of bar wraps here that I'm working on with different projects. We've got a full wrap, a custom wrap for um, straight onto metal handlebars, a padded version, and these are the cuffs that come with the sew up bar wraps um, for the slip on set. So today I'm going to show you how um, to sew on some grip covers. These typically will come installed, but for the purpose of uh, this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do it on the lock-ons. Um, the stitch is the same for when you're installing the rest of these units. You're going to need supplied wax cord. Um, the lengths are typically double plus a couple inches what your edge that you need to stitch up is. I just fold it over a number of times and measure it to make sure I have the proper length. Once you cut it, you're gonna use your needles that are also supplied. You don't need your needles if you don't wanna use them. You can often roll the ends of the twine into a point uh, and pass them through the pre-punched holes. And then lastly, you're gonna need some scissors to finish off your knots. So, to get started, you're gonna have both ends of your needles looped through, or each, both ends of your line looped through the two ends of your needles. You're gonna have a starting side, and on these grips, they're unidirectional, so it doesn't really matter what side I start on. If you were sewing up bar wraps, um, you're gonna wanna start on the top and end at the bottom so you can tuck your knot and your tails into your bar cap. Likewise, um, with uh, your cuffs. Uh, you're gonna wanna end up with your cuffs on your top also ending on the stem edge so you can tuck them underneath and on the bar end bottom underneath the bar ends. Uh, likewise with the lever areas, you're gonna wanna sew from the outside to the inside so your lever hoods will cover up the seam and your knots. So when I'm gonna start this, I go, um, I like to start a loop over the top, so I go in through one side on the bottom, come out on the top again, and then I'm going to go pass through again the same two holes in the same direction, so I end up with a nice top knot on this. And now you're going to want to pull these through so you've got a nice even length from the grip up to the ends of your needles so you're not in danger of uh, running out on one side. And this is going to cinch down quite a bit, but you can just move this back up because it's going to travel as you cinch it up uh, just by the nature of the grip. So just make sure you're starting from the right point and you'll be okay. So now that we got an inch or so done here, this is gonna be the hardest part. And it's really critical to make sure you get this edge lined up nice and good with your, your end. It's more critical with these grips rather than um, rather with a bar, but also to make sure your line's straight. So as you move down, you'll wanna tighten every three or four, but I'll basically run through a bunch of stitches here and show you. So again, coming from one side, which is I've started on this side always, the first one, Going through, coming through again, the under one, and back over. And you can just keep holding on to this one because this is the next one through again. Give it a cinch. Really get those tight. You should have them tight and cinching everything down, but you don't want, you know, a puckering or any bulging. You want to keep this line here as straight as possible because if you get it too tight, then you're going to start cinching these two holes together and, um, and that's going to make a big lump. And you don't really want a lump there. The, the, the stitch is kind of enough grip as is. Um, 
So when you get to the end of your sew-ups, you're um, going to come to a point where you've got just two, two left, so you're going to do your final, your second to last stitch, the same as every other one. The only difference um, that you're going to see is actually on the end, we're going to create a X stitch, and that X stitch is going to make it so when you don't, when you finish this, you're not tying a knot on the surface, you're actually going from the underside. So we're going to finish this off by going in from the top, still coming in on that same side I started on first, and then closing this off from the top as well with the box. And now you could just tie a knot underneath, or you could come back under and loop it over again as we did in the very beginning. In this case, I think it's gonna be pretty well secured and I don't wanna make a bigger knot there bulging out than I have to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this off. And you can just do a double knot you would, you know, start tying your shoes with and that'd, that's gonna do the trick. This uh, cord is pretty heavily waxed, so it doesn't like to slip around once it's set in place. Um, it's also made it under rubber, so you're pretty good. So once you get that nice and tight, You can kind of push it down into the rubber and see how it's fitting in there. Sometimes I like to just kind of tuck around and work with it. And then you take your scissors and just trim them off as flush as you can get. So now our grip is finished. In this case, we'll install our end clamps and then the grip can get slid onto the bars and installed. If you'd like to see more of our products, um, everything is available on our website, or you can email me directly. I make custom designed wraps, saddles, saddlebags, and other cycling accessories. You can also purchase our um, sew-up bar wraps and slip-on grip sets through the website as well. Thanks, and have a nice day.